I News Views, May 17th. Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends? Abraham Lincoln. J. Young Lee, the apparent heir to Samsung Group Chairman Gunhee Lee, is taking an increasingly prominent role in running the group and its electronics company. The younger Lee is not expected to follow his father's expansion at all cost policies after last year's Galaxy S debacle. While Samsung was the only company to outsell Apple in smartphones last year, profit margins fell to 7% in the third quarter, from 18% in 2013. In contrast, Apple's gross profit margin was 41% during the same period. The recently reopened Lotte World Mall attracted 200,000 people last weekend with free movie and aquarium tickets. However, two workers were injured in an electrical mishap last week that continues to tarnish the safety reputation of the construction company. Lotte received a verbal warning from the Seoul Metropolitan Government about its failure to thoroughly manage safety issues in the building. A major public relations effort by Lotte will hopefully ease the public's anxiety over the building's abysmal safety record. Derailment of a New York-bound Amtrak train near Philadelphia was most likely the result of the engineer exceeding the speed limit. Eight passengers were killed and multiple injuries were reported in the accident. The National Traffic Safety Board is recommending that positive train control devices be installed on all trains to slow or stop a train before these kinds of accidents can occur. Investigation into the cause of the accident is ongoing, and there are some reports that a projectile may have hit the windshield of the train just prior to the accident. Harvard University has been accused of having a bias against Asian Americans. The complaint filed with the U.S. Education Department's Office for Civil Rights says that the university has quotas to keep the number of Asian American students significantly lower than the quality of their applications indicates. The complaint states that elite schools that use race-neutral admission policies have much higher Asian American enrollment than Harvard. Nearly half of all tech startups in the U.S. are launched by Asian Americans, which reflects the extent of their business contributions in creativity, risk-taking, and leadership. Children of working mothers have some advantages over the children of stay-at-home moms. Evidence is mounting that there are economic, educational, and social benefits to the children of moms who work. The daughters of working moms completed more years of education and tended to be better employed and in higher positions. Statistics show that the majority of married sons raised by working mothers have a wife who works. Nordic countries have the most widespread acceptance of working women. Attention deficit hyperactive disorder is on the rise. Seven out of ten sufferers of this disease are between 10 and 19 years old, and men and boys are four times more likely to, to display the symptoms. Psychiatrists believe that ADHD is the result of genetic inheritance, environmental factors like smoking and alcohol use, and brain injuries. ADHD usually appears during childhood, and if appropriate treatment is not received, symptoms can continue into adolescence and adulthood. <laughs>